What's up, Makeup Minions? I'm Kim Woody from Woody Artistry, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below and the bell next to it so you don't miss any new videos. This is a silly video that I decided to be a lot of fun if I showed you guys what products I would recommend for your Halloween makeup kit. If you would like behind the scenes access and special perks, feel free to support me on Patreon. Also, this is kind of an ode to tape face. Um, I didn't have the other half of my microphone, but I have my voiceover microphone, so creativity. <laughs> anyway, uh, the first product I would highly recommend for anyone for Halloween is liquid latex. You can get it at Walmart or Spirit of Halloween or Amazon. And basically you can use it to make wrinkled skin effects and cuts and wounds. But combine it with your basic cotton ball, you can build different forms, you can sculpt with it and use it as some form of prosthetic. There is one downside to latex, other than if you're allergic to it, which is the fact that it is very sticky. And if you do not use baby powder or some sort of setting powder, the latex will curl and stick to itself. So make sure you heavily powder any prosthetic you make. Another thing used in all basic makeup kits is Elmer's washable glue. It doesn't have to be Elmer's, but it just has to be washable. Basically what you use this for is to block out your eyebrows to make them disappear or to have a smooth surface for painting. Another basic supply that you can really up your costume game if you don't have any wigs is colored hairspray. This is just black and you can get any colored hairspray at like party stores or Halloween stores around this time of year. These next couple of products are a little bit harder to find, but totally worth it. This is Nose and Scar Wax, which is basically a modeling compound that you can construct your own wounds and scars and prosthetics with. I uh, used this and taught you how to do this in the maggot tutorial if you guys are interested. But it is sticky, so you do have to put baby powder over it, and you do color it with cream makeup or alcohol-activated makeup. Speaking of cream makeup, cream makeup is a fabulous addition to your Halloween kit. I highly recommend the Ben Nye's Bruise Wheel because it's all the creepy colors that you would need for Halloween. It is also very important to have something to apply your makeup with, so I recommend using some sponges and brushes and always have a couple of both handy. A very important addition to any makeup artist kit, especially for Halloween, is some sort of face paint. Now you could just get cheap face paints from Walmart or Spirit of Halloween, but they usually don't go on very evenly and they can also clog your pores. So a replacement that I would recommend is a Wolf Essentials palette, which is just 12 colors that are water activated body paint. So basically all that is, is you add some water to your brush and the amount of water you add either dilutes it or makes it more saturated and you just paint it right on your skin. It is skin safe and hypoallergenic and it doesn't clog your pores, so that's awesome. This last item is completely optional and really for the dedicated Halloween people out there like me, but they are just veneer fangs. So they're just plastic fake fangs that you can get online. I got mine from dentaldistortions.com, link will be in the description. But the most important thing is fake blood. It comes in all different sizes, all different viscosities and colors. Just pick out what you're going for, whether it's like aged, scabbed, liquid, but make sure you do not put it in your mouth unless it is edible. They do make edible blood and mouth packets of blood if you really want to go for that gory extra effect. So much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and drop me a comment below. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like it. Also, let me know if you like this weird tape face video. Um, it was strange and it was a lot of fun though. Thanks so much for watching. See you next Saturday.